Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy and it's a babbling Belgian and welcome back to Demon Souls. Last time we found ourselves a brand new weapon. Well, not really found, we created ourselves this lovely blunt looking meat cleaver. And with that, after we also defeated the Dragon God and finished up World 2, our first world that is completely done, um, we're going to actually head into World 5 today. Now, World 5 is peculiar. We haven't been there just yet, but it's a plague-ridden land, and to purge that land from that plague, we're going to be needing a specific weapon. And to do that, I'm actually going to try and upgrade the flame sword. Of course, as you can see, Baldwin can't upgrade that dragon long sword because if you remember that we found that in the uh, well two episodes ago, we found the dragon long sword. I'm actually not holding it anymore. I think Stockpile Thomas might have it. So let's grab it from him. So there we go, the Dragon Longsword. Let's switch that to our inventory. So the Dragon Longsword, as you can see, actually does almost an, the same amount of damage as we do right now. So the Dragon Longsword does 91 normal physical damage and 91 fire damage, which is technically, if all the damage comes true, two more damage than our Meat Cleaver. Uh, of course, the scaling of it is completely gone, I think. So there we go, there's no scaling on the Dragon Longsword, so that's why the eventual bonuses are of course a lot less, because if you compare that to the Meat Cleaver, yeah, we do about double the damage that, uh, compared to what you can see. Uh, but the Dragon Longsword is going to be helpful uh, regardless, because of the fire damage, so we're going to try and upgrade that just a little bit. So yeah, even though we finished up this world, we're going to be heading back here quite a few times just to upgrade our equipment. Just because uh, Ed is just so much more of a blacksmith than his brother is. So uh, let's have a little chat with him and see how far we can upgrade that dragon longsword. Because it is a formidable weapon that you can actually get quite early in the game if you manage to kill the armor spider early. So the dragon longsword can go to plus two which adds a whopping 14 damage on top of the original stuff. Um, I think I can only do it once because the next... Ooh, I can actually do it again. Because I have... No, 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 I can't because I only have three shards and I need six of them. Yeah, okay. So it's only up to plus two. That is still quite good, especially because it weighs a lot less than the meat cleaver as well. So we can uh, adjust our um, equipment to that when it comes to it. So with that, technically we could now tinker a little bit with our loadout. So we could go for the Dragon Longsword, which gives us a lot of extra carry capacity, which I think would allow us to get back into the armor. Oh, just about not. That is wow. Okay, so I'm lacking like one point of endurance. That is sad. So but let me check. I think I could then use the Blue Knight armor, right? Because that is slightly lighter. So that is 10.5 and this is 13.5. So let's just grab that and equip that. There we go, about 12 points of extra armor and we're looking quite snazzy again. So that's what we could wear if we want to use the Dragon Longsword for the entirety. But uh, I also want to try out the Meat Cleaver in this level. But let's touch the Archstone of the Chieftain. Because uh, we're going to the Valley of the Defilement, this humid valley is a haven for the used and forgotten. Its inhabitants, afflicted by poison and plague, await their deaths in this forsaken place, attacking those who wander in, hoping to offer their souls to the one woman who showed them compassion. And that actually gives me the idea that I actually need to uh, bring some antidotes with me as well. I have three of them. That's not a lot. And I don't know if I have more. I actually don't have more, so the three nobles lotuses are gonna have to do. So, uh, yeah. Here we go, Valley of the Defilement, World 5, let's go to the Depraved Chasm. With of course the uh, fancy quick loading times that just put us right into the level, there we go. The Depraved Chasm, starting out at, yeah, a, a, a shithole where even the, the rats have mutated but also died. So this is, yeah, this is not a good place to start out with, the dead end, that list just looks, yeah, like a broken down shithole. Uh, the predecessor, oh there we go, we got four noblesmen's lotus uh, immediately to counteract the poison. There's also, um, yeah, it's called the chasm, so we're gonna have to mind our footing. Because, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna fall to our deaths rather soon here. We are in spirit form, so that is good. And we're heading our way up immediately along these wooden 
blank status. This is not a good sign. I barely remember anything of this level, by the way. I know what the final boss is, as usual with this game, but the level itself is interesting. Ooh, wow. But there we go. Double slash from the longsword. It's a lot quicker than what we're used to as well. Oh, look at that. Are those supposed to be dogs? That was a hole, by the way. It should probably step into the hole. Um, there seems to be... So that's where we came from, right? Or is that... No, that, that's what we were overlooking. Look at this place. Yeah, this is definitely the predecessor to uh, Blighttown. I don't want to fall into that hole. The holes in the level are going to be annoying. Wow, you could probably... Oh, no. Is that... Can I actually get there? Where's the hole that I... There we go. Is this... Ah, this is... I can go over here. And then grab the item. There we go. Renowned Hero Soul. And then smash this. Ah, this... It's so bright. Is he gonna... There's no... Um, plunging attacks in this game, so I can't really do anything against this. There we go. Okay. But of course we're still wearing the purple flame shield, so this might actually work. Um, if I used a different shield, by the way, I could have also just wore the other armor. Now that I realize this, but... Um, yeah, let's just keep going. Okay. Something... There we go. Somebody fell down. Felt the rumbling before something happened. Uh, ooh, hello. There we go. He's going down as well. And the fire damage is definitely doing its work. I'm gonna grab whatever he has. Healing items. Yes, healing items. Uh, I think I can smack this out of the way and then drop down to this dude. And there's, of course, a dude here. And we got a weapon, a morning star. That is always nice. We kind of forfeited whatever is up there now. But looks like we can just move further from here. I'm gonna drop down over here. Since this seems quite safe, that guy's gonna have to go through that area. Wait, there is a dude below me. There we go. Where's the second one? There he is. There we go. Okay, so a lot of these... Um, yeah, they're actually wearing plague masks or something like it. So they try to protect themselves from the plague. I don't know if you know this, but the, the way the plague masks are created... So these, these long beaks, as you can see at the bottom there... They used to think in the Middle Ages that this would help against infection because it lengthens the distance from the air to your nose, which is why it had that long nose. But, of course, it's not going to make that much of a difference if the uh, the plague is actually airborne. So there's a small bridge over there. And I feel like I left a few things over here. So somebody died in this corner. But other than that, I could go back down. There are items over here and it looks like I can actually go back up the bridge that way. So if I drop down here... Actually get this item, some more healing. <gasps> okay, that was that was really close. That was a, a gasp of me just falling down. And we get a renowned hero soul. Yeah, there's a lot of holes in this place. And it's pretty dark. I don't know if it's because of my settings, but it is pretty... Oh. And... I don't really see how I'm going to get back up now. Um... Oh, and I'm scared of the holes. There we go. Okay. How do I now... There is an area... Oh, wait. So I can actually drop down this hole. Okay. Dropping down the hole. And we got yet another item of a dead person. Impression, moon cross, some more healing items. Definitely spreading those out a bit. And there is a bridge over there. So that seems to be... The way forward and this this thing is, is like glowing there's glowing shit on the walls there we go no please highlight this guy thank you there we go okay 
another dead knight, the Ring of Magical Dullness. So that's probably magic resistance. I can actually take a look at that. So the Ring of Magical Dullness lowers magic power but raises magic defense. Soft Ring bearing a light green seal raises magic defense at the expense of magic power. Crafted by Gary known for his magical handicrafts and close acquaintance with Sage Freak the Visionary. The seal depicts a man facing right. So again, Gary. Gary is a really proficient man. He makes all sorts of fancy rings. Um, yeah, it seems like we're completely skipping the bridges. <laughs> Although it might look like we can circle around to that. Okay, so I do kind of hear somebody in this direction. Ah, but it's it's just it's just dead people. It's just dead people hanging there. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm not fine with the hole over here. So. Oh, there's even a ladder. So there's this bridge. There's it. The oh. Uh, I saw you. Oh, and that one's that one's not dead. There we go. Huh. I don't think this is worth the healing. I could actually equip the um, the adjudicator shield for a second, so I can heal that off. There is a way down there, and is that a fog gate? That looks like a fog gate to me. That would be really quickly if that is the boss already, but again, they'll find a weapon boss here. It is liked like 2,000 times, so I feel like this is actually correct, but there's also the way forward across this bridge, or is this... It could also be that if I took the normal way, I would have crossed to that side of the, the area and then crossed back, which I didn't do right now, but this looks like a death sentence. And I can see another fog gate down there, actually. So wait, let's, let's quickly cross the bridge. I'm actually going to swap shields again, back to the purple flame shield. The, wait. Oh, um, this, this, thank you. Actually slotted it to a different uh, a different salt there. There we go. Another depraved town. Oh, he was quicker. He was quicker than I was. Aha! There is another item here. We need to be careful not to be dropping down. There we go. An unknown hero assault. There's more items over there. There we go. Killed the entire lot. Um, I should probably... Yeah, let's, let's just keep the, um, the, the adjudicator shield on hand. <laughs> just for healing. Uh, we get some items over here. Some more healing. I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting healing items. So that's not a problem. This place is creaking all over the place. There is an item over there, but I have no idea how to get it. Can I go around? Seems like I can, but this guy's waking up. Oh, no. <laughs> This guy was already dead, I just defiled the corpse. So this looks like I can kick that down. Um, this is going to be dangerous, but there we go. Oh, there's even an operate. That's not something I would call operate, but just kick down, but fair enough. Operate, I guess. And this is the Talisman of Gold and two Widow's Lotuses. So that's against bleeding. I think. Holy crap, they killed the hell out of this guy. So, a stone to the back and then two, three torches. Um, one on each shoulder and then one for some reason. I'm not making this up. There's one up his butt. And then like two small spiders right next to him. Um, okay. Are those crystal spiders, by the way? They look kind of funny. Okay, I think that's enough. For this part of the bridge, I'm going to turn back. Because I'm pretty sure that the way forward was the way that we actually came from. So, okay. 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 Don't fall. Don't fall. I'm very clumsy. Let's just uh, get across the bridge. And maybe also equip the purple flame shield again. Shouldn't probably stand on this bridge so for so long. Now, I can go down here. On the ladder, but I feel like the enemy's already spotted me, so I'm probably better off... Ooh, no. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, they are, they are hogging the... Are you kidding me? 
And I don't have any fire bombs. So let's just go over here. Well, he was quicker than his back, wasn't he? Now, what are we facing here? There we go. Okay, for once I'm gonna heal. <laughs> that was uh, rather nasty. They actually don't do poison damage, which is interesting. Oh, gold. Oh, gold. I actually wanted to go... Right, I forgot I needed to go over there. Wait, I can still do that. I can still do that. Why am I so slow? <laughs> that was a really slow way of going up a ladder. In video game terms, at least. Let's go down here. Oh, yeah. I feel like that message was was toying with me. That was, yeah, damn it. Okay, the the way back isn't that far. That was that was just a nasty message. So um, where where are my souls? Um, I'm I'm back to where I died. But I don't know where my souls are. Are they doing down here? Is that? Is that my spot? I don't know. Where the hell are my souls? Is this it? Ah, my souls are gone. People, we have a problem. My, I mean, it wasn't the end of the world, but... Still would have liked to get them back. There they are. Let's murder all these guys. My souls. My souls. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was barely anything, but... Okay, so there's another big plank here that everybody says, please jump down here, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, no, no, I'm not gonna jump down anything anymore. I don't trust anybody playing this game. These guys are assholes. Okay. Um, seems like this guy is dead, or he likes flies a lot. Let's just hit him once, just to be sure. And then this guy seems like one of those disciples of gold, actually. And he gets more nobles' lotuses. Nobles', nobles lotuses. Okay, now we're going down again. There we go. One at the bottom, and then we're in like a, a little swamp. No, there's a lot of people in the swamp here. Let's set them all aflame. There we go. Feinstone shards. So that's actually really interesting. Feinstones allow you to make blessed weapons, if I recall correctly. I should probably check them before I say something like that. Shard of cold holy ore that shines dimly. Um, reinforce the straight sword, blah blah blah, and use the weapons with a deif deific, deific, deific blessing. Weapons can be reinforced by feint stones, and a weapon blessed by this ore gradually restores the wheel's HP, and it is also scaling with faith. So, are they... wait. There's an item over there. Did I miss that? I missed that. I thought I picked that up. That was a feint stone, right? <laughs> Weird. So... Small bridge, and then a lot of people dying. Hi. Oh. I am losing health. So I'm, I'm slowly losing health. And the, oh, so I am poisoned. I am poisoned. Okay. Um, I'm going to just heal up. Oh, wow. That does, does not do anything. Um... So first up, let's switch to the Adjudicator Shield to slow that down a little bit, but that is... Okay, um, definitely don't want to get poisoned. Can I get... I'm going to have to swap this out for the Noble's Lotus. Yeah, that just keeps going, doesn't it? There we go. Okay, so those things give you... Po th those were big blobs. Okay, so I survived the poison, luckily, because that required a little bit of, uh, yeah, item management there. I'm just going to heal everything off again. This, this guy is dead, yeah, okay, so I can go down here, but I don't really know how to deal with those. I think it was one of those, right, the spider thingies. There's also a way forward over here, I think, or at least looks like it. Not that these levels look pretty straightforward, but... Wait, are you dead or not? Because I feel like you might be 
under those guys just to stand up and kill me in the back. There's an item over here. Ooh. The same set. See, that was the one that was lying on the floor. I couldn't kill him beforehand. That was bullshit. Ooh. There's actually a lot of items below the bridge as well. Um, but I might be able to get there. No. How do you get there? Probably shouldn't be wasting my time like this. <laughs> but I'm really curious now. Uh, let's get the Crescent Moon Girl set again. Can I? I mean, I could probably drop down from... No. No, I can't. There's no way... Wait. There's no way forward here. I can't get to the other side. Unless I go back up and then drop down. Which is probably what the... Um, the plank was saying, right? So, uh, this thing? Yeah. So there is an area down there now. Um, I probably don't want to walk off this straight off. And I want to remove my armor at least so I take less damage. Maybe even the shield, but the shield is going to save me here. Huh! And kill the guys really quickly. Okay. That was good. So now we're somewhere else. <laughs> I have no idea where we all are. Um, so let's equip the armor again. Ooh, the Saints robes actually look really snazzy. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Um, I also want to swap out to the Adjudicator Shield again. Though I do expect to be facing some more dudes in a minute. But, different path. Different path for different people. There's, more, there's something coming in my direction. There we go. I actually rolled and dodged an attack. That was smart. Okay. And he kind of got a hit in there. Even though I dodged in the first place. Um, so there's one item over here. On whatever this is. Uh, that's another knight. There's actually a lot of knights that died here. And of course a lot of... Oh! Die. Die. Ooh. Okay, so that's one of those... those. Oh! Where the hell did you come from? That's one of those poison blob thingies. So I'm gonna have to experiment whether I can kill those in one go. I'm wondering, can I... If I kill them in one go, do, do they actually... Because I felt like with a fire weapon that should cauterize their wounds. Um... And not allow them to burst. Do I just go close and let them burst? Or do I leave them alone? If I leave this thing alone. I'm not going to hit it. I get the blessed mace. So that's our first blessed weapon. Aha. So just being passive is the way to go with these things. But now, now I don't know where to go. Or is this... Wait. What, what am I looking at? There's a message here. Aha. Another operated bridge, which is not what the words operate means, but fair enough. Back to the flame shield. Um, slowly move across the bridge. And we're back at the other side now. Oh god. Oh, I don't know what plague means. Okay, I have no idea what plague means, and it's also chipping away at my health, so... Really can't deal with this right now. There uh, we go, let's heal that up. Yeah, I am plagued right now. Do I have something against plague? I don't think so, actually. Ah, contracts plague. Okay, never mind. There we go. There we go, not a problem at all. But yeah, I don't know how you deal with those rats without getting hit. That seems like a big problem. Kind of like the play guy over there. That also seems like a very big problem. I'm gonna heal up with some more grass. Even though the grass barely does anything at this point. And I'm gonna have to face off against that big guy. Uh, can I actually go? Wait. Ooh. Oh. Uh, hi. Um. Who, who are you? I definitely don't remember this old woman. You there, won't you? 
pleased by something. My poor child is hungry. Uh, sh sure, can I talk to you? Why is everybody filthy in this game? <laughs> the filthy woman. You don't deserve to die. So let me give you some advice. This place buzzes with pests fattened on a diet of souls. You could do worse than keep some lotuses for protection. Indeed. The price of survival can never be too high, can it? Yeah, and I should probably put those other lotuses on my uh, bar as well. How many years has it been since that witch Astraya came to this valley with that squid-headed knight? Those ridiculous white robes of hers. I swear I caught her glaring at my son in disgust. Yes, it's true. She's as nasty as they come. And she's a demon to boot. Not that it surprises me. So we just learned a lot from this one single NPC, by the way. So we already knew from the description of this area that there was one woman that showed these people compassion. Now we have a name for that woman. She's called Astraya. And uh, according to the Filthy Woman, she's a witch, but more importantly, she's also a demon and she was protected by a knight. You could do worse than the price of so uh, That seems to be all she can tell us. So let's purchase some items. We can definitely... Holy hell. That is pricey. I mean, it kind of makes sense. She's selling them at a premium because it's so valuable over here. But uh, yeah, that is... Ooh. Chainmail. That is also really interesting, because that's pretty light armor, I can imagine. Um, other than that, she also sells uh, poison arrows. So these things. So I think, yeah, these are poison arrows, right? So yeah, septic arrowhead, it causes the areas grazed on targets to rot off. It doesn't actually say, <laughs> say poison specifically, but it's uh, definitely going to be that. Um, I could buy the armor, by the way, because I think she might be the only one selling this. Although it's probably better spend on another lotus, so let's just buy one of the widow's lotuses, just uh, in case we find another room full of rats, and then we don't actually have enough souls to buy anything else aside from the grass jelly, which allows us to recover some HP over time. But let's leave it at that. And she's a demon to boot. She can't really tell us anything Don't else now. It's a growing boy. Please be generous. I mean, you got two thousand souls from me, which is not nothing. Which is definitely not nothing. Let's go back down. Because, uh, yeah, there's a big guy over there. So let's equip the purple flame shield again. Remember, 100 physical protection. So let's, let's just do this. Oh! Can, can you stop that? Is that somebody over there? No, I can't really see anything. Is he? What is he doing? I think he saw me, but... Oh! So I need to get out of here. Oh, this is no good. Yeah. Is that me dead? No, yeah, this is me dead. Wow, okay, that was an ambush. Damn, okay. Yeah, let's get back there. So, we're right back with the rats. I mean... I don't know how to deal with these things without getting hit, so might as well go for it. Yeah, one single hit actually gets you plagued, so I don't see how you would be dealing with this. There we go. Actually get an archstone shard from a rat? That is interesting. I should probably take the, the Widow's Lotus now. There we go. Um, so yeah, no reason, no, no idea how to deal with that properly. Um, we're right back at our souls. Problem is, we know now there's an ambush waiting behind us as well. So there's a single dude ready to pounce on us on the back. I don't know, last time there were like things dropping down. Or is he coming from over here? I don't know where that guy actually came from. There was a guy in our back, but... So I can go over here. Ah, if you have the soul tendency, you can proceed. Okay, so there's two guys that actually drop down now. So I think I might, if I stay over here in the back... Ah, there we go, there's the other guy. So that's one. That's two. And 
That's true. Okay, now we only need to deal with the big guy. Uh, and I should probably... I have to adjudicate a shield equip now, but holy shit. Okay, this guy is actually pretty quick for his size. Um, let's go back in here. I think I can circle around in here. I don't have a lot of space. There we go. So let's just dodge his strikes. There we go. Okay. Down he goes. We got our souls back. And we're still in one piece. So yeah, it started storming outside here. So um, if you hear some uh, light rain noises in the background, that's that's exactly that. There we go. Bounce on the shields. Even though we take a little bit of damage, the adjudicator shield will heal that off. So it kind of counteracts its own weaknesses. Um, but other than that, there doesn't seem to be much here. Aside from, of course, the way forward. So there's, there's a spear guy over there. And two bloody, bloody thingies. I think I can just squeeze in between there. Um, which prompts me to say, excuse me. But, hmm. I don't have any ranged magic. So, I'm just gonna try... No. I can definitely not squeeze in between here. The design of these things is actually really creepy. Um, so try rolling. No. Oh, that actually moves them back. <laughs> ah. There we go. Oh. Let's move back. Let's move back. Can he actually pass? He can. <laughs> he definitely can. Okay, let's just heal up and start fighting him down here so I can actually circle him. There we go. Yeah, the circle strafe is gonna win the day here. I don't know what my character is doing. It's like she's trying to shove him back, but there we go. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Tried to de deliver the killing blow there, and she uh, kind of shoved him back instead. Okay, so moving forward, still pushing forward. Kind of hoping we don't bump into a room full of rats anymore, because... Yo. Okay. So that's literally a room full of slugs. Slugs! A bunch of slugs on the floor. And like, I don't know what that is. Are those intestines on the wall? No idea. They're clearly feasting on blood and innards. There seem to be enemies in between those as well. I mean, this guy's an enemy, right? Well, he caught fire, but <laughs> he didn't stand up. So that's usually a good sign that that is not, that person is not alive. Wow, there's a really big thunderstorm going on right now outside. Um, and I think this might actually be pointing us towards the boss now. Yep, that was a thunder strike. I hope everything stays alive in here. Ah, oh, that that my my uh, yeah my my power stays on. So this is going to be annoying if everything just shuts down all of a sudden. Okay, so this is basically what I wanted the fire sword for. Um, I'm gonna actually take the full moon grass as a healing item, and I don't know if it's better to go with the. It's probably better to go with the purple flame shield, even though the passive healing would be nice. It's not going to do much, right? So here we go. Here we go. Another boss fight. And the leeches were a sign. Because uh, this boss fight is actually completely comprised of leeches. This is the leechmonger. I think it's, it's named. That is actually really cool. That is really nicely animated. So it's kind of like the adjudicated boss fight, I think. So we're going to have to work our way down. I'm holding the shield up, not that I think it's gonna matter all that much. I think I need to go move down regard look at that thing. Oh god. It's tossing stuff at me. I should probably jump down, but I don't see a good opening. Or is this gonna go down regardless? I'm blocking it. Oh wow, okay. So 
These things continuously do damage, so I think the Adjudicator Shield might actually have been better. And I got hit again, so I'm gonna have to heal up. Yeah, this is annoying. Um, the boss fight itself is actually tailored to this. There we go. There we go. Let's heal up. Can I actually go into the water? I think I can, right? Uh There we go. I am taking damage while I'm in the water because of course the leeches are in the water as well. But I think that's a, a good counteraction. Wow. <laughs> oh, the thunderstorm outside is actually amazing for this boss. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna heal up once because I am taking... I can feel it in the controller that I am taking damage while in the water. But the armor is actually holding up quite nicely. Um, because it's really hard to actually see what this guy is doing sometimes. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Well, this is not an Anakin boss fight, is it? There we go. Ah, and that's why we took the fire sword. There we go. Demon vanquished. Leechmonger is down. Not the hardest boss fight, especially with this uh, armor setup. But then the fire sword just uh, melts it completely. And there we go. The uh, archstone is actually over there. So we're going to have to grab that soul in a minute. But yeah, the background noise is going to be uh, <laughs> incredible at the moment, I suppose. <laughs> Don't know if that comes across on the audio that well. There we go. There's another item over here that I want to grab. The sucker stone shards. But yeah, other than that... Yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward boss fight. Um, you just need to hit him a, a few times and uh, dodge either his slams or his um, his like ball attacks. But the weird thing is that it's really hard to um, guess where his front is. So it's also really hard to read what the, what his attacks are actually going to do. So let's touch this, the Riding Demon Soul. We can touch the Archstone and then we can read about this next area, the Swamp of Sorrow. Yeah, I don't really look forward to this. But all that is unclean ends up in the giant swamp at the base of the Valley of Defilement. The swamp is a cesspool of putrilage, vermin and plague. So yeah, definitely a very fun place to visit. We're gonna not be doing this next, but it is of course coming up later on. Let's go back to the Nexus first because we're, we of course got a nice batch of souls again. I think that we might actually get at least one level, maybe two out of this. So let's talk to the main in black and see what we can do. So yeah, that's only one level. Um, this, the level I think we want to be putting into Fate because we're actually going to be using the the Meat Cleaver next. Um, but yeah, I don't think we'll be, we will be getting more with the uh, Consumable Souls. Yeah, so we don't get up to another level with the Consumable Souls, which is sad, of course, but we can actually spend those on other things. So the Sucker Stone, by the way, allows you to make uh, bleeding weapons. So it reinforces curved swords, katanas and the like. The Saint set actually looks really cool as well. We haven't really uh, talked about that uh, set as well. So let's read about this. White attire worn by the highest ranking saints on pilgrimages of proselyti pro proselytization. I don't know what that word means. And salvation. Surprisingly tough owing to its multiple layers. But even though the game says it's surprisingly tough... Um, it is actually better than the official clothes in terms of defense, but it is worse in case of fire defense. Not that that is the thing that we're looking for next, but the next area is actually magic defense that we're going to have to look at. So I think with this setup, we're actually doing the best that we can. So there's a lot of physical defense there, um, a lot of magical defense, and yeah... That's exactly what I want, because it actually has more magical defense than the Merton set. So if I do this, it looks ridiculous. I gotta give you that, but uh, other than that, it's actually a good set for now. For the next area that we're gonna go into, because next time, we're actually gonna go into World 3. The Tower of Latria. We haven't set foot in that either, in that place either, but it is one hell of a shithole. So I'm uh, really not looking forward to this. Ooh! 
Duchess is here. Wow. I remember you. Well, I'm glad you're here. I found some really tasty trinkets. <laughs> and I have money to spend. Well, we've long been acquainted. So I'll give you a good price, eh? Batch is actually perfect for uh, bow users because I think he's the only one that actually sells, uh, yeah, the heavy variants of the arrows. Um, he also sells the barbarian clothing, but keep in mind he was trying to kill us and get our gear, so most likely this gear belonged to somebody he killed as well. So if you take, I don't know if that actually says some. The crude stitching originates from a primitive civilization, so I think yeah, that person might have been. Stupid enough to uh, stumble into his traps. Other than that, he sells arrows. He also sells pretty high quality healing items. So I think I can actually buy a few of these uh, to stock up myself. Especially for the next uh, area that's going to be really, really handy. Other than that, nothing that I really need. I'm not a magic user, so the fresh spice is not something that I'm going to need. I am going to stock up on some heavy arrows though. So that's just buy a couple of those um i think 30 is 900 souls so might as well take 60 then just in case we need them uh it's a good backup to have we are almost at our equip burden though our item burden i'm gonna actually just spend the remaining things on the healing items as well so uh five more of those and then one more of those there we go and we're almost at maximum capacity but let's talk to patches now that we actually can nothing here is stolen i swear I no longer partake of the whole corpse robbing thing. Yes, yes, I'm completely free from vice. <laughs> My old mother would be proud indeed. Aren't you proud of me too? Uh, not really, Patches. Um, you, you did try to kill us. You see that priest and his disciples over there? Liars. They've blown that incident at the shrine far out of proportion. Shouldn't they believe in forgiving and forgetting and all that? Well, I have news for them. Praying never put food in my mouth, nor anyone else's. So yeah, Patches is referring to the fact that, I mean, we technically don't know this yet, but he um, he actually pushed Saint, Saint Urbane into a hole and we're going to have to save him eventually. Yes, yes, I'm completely, I'm you proud of me. So that's basically nice it stuff. on Patches. Come again then, I'll be awaiting. So there we go, patches, and now that he mentioned it, we could actually go and talk to the followers, the disciples of gold over here. I think these guys are still over here, right? So if I talk to this guy... Oh, fellow disciple, do you know Saint Herbie? His piety is true. His ears are tuned to the voice of God. But that faint-hearted disciple over there claims that he has fallen in a trap somewhere in the shrine. I hate to think that such misfortune could have befallen so eminent a man. I intend to leave shortly to rescue Saint Urbane. God has already done, and I am his disciple. I am afraid we may not meet again. Oh, that might actually mean that we should probably hurry to the Shrine of Storms ourselves and save Saint Urbane. Because uh, the Disciple of Cold might actually die if we let him do that. Uh, we'll have to see next. I'm going to have to make that decision next time. You wish to train yourself in stoicism. Very well. I pray we meet again. Uh, I pray we do so too, buddy, but you're kind of forcing me to go into the level I at least want to go to. So we'll have to see about that next time. Because yeah, that's it for today. We're going to leave our red-eyed chosen one to uh, her rest. Because uh, yeah, we're going to take a little break. So uh, I'd like to thank you all enormously for watching. And next time, we're going to either go into World 3 or World 4 again. I'm not exactly sure yet. Because Patches have, uh, has uh, stirred up trouble. And I want to avoid having too many people die here. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And hope to see you in the next episode of Demon Souls. Goodbye. Stay nutty.